welcome to our Via Traveller's Alkmaar Travel Guide. In this video I'm going to show you how to make the most of a trip to the Dutch city of Alkmaar, with a tour of the town and some awesome things to do that'll have you coming back for more. Hi there, my name is James and today I'm going to be giving an overview of what makes Alkmaar such a great destination. I'm going to cover some important points from museums to visit, where to eat out, and how best to absorb the city on a stroll. So sit tight, because we've got a lot of ground to cover. Alkmaar is a historic Dutch city, and is the capital of the province of North Holland. It has a population of around 145,000 people, and an area of 19 square kilometres. As a city, Alkmaar likely dates back to around 1287. Alkmaar's culture is known for traditional music, modern art, vintage clothing, and a stunning array of unique architecture. Alkmaar is a truly international city, which is constantly seeing increasing numbers of foreign visitors every year. Here are some things to see and do when visiting Alkmaar. Do you love cheese? Then indulge in a wonderful tour at Alkmaar Historic Cheese Market. The market has stood for about 700 years, with records of its existence dating back to 1365, and cheese has been bought, weighed, and sold here ever since. Cheese has always been a big deal to the Dutch, and great care to inspect and weigh cheese has always been paramount at the Alkmaar Cheese Market, where weighing cheese has no small amount of ceremony. In fact, weighing the cheese has had so much importance that only a select few were entrusted with the process in the Middle Ages, and there was only one set of scales in town to accurately weigh the cheese under official scrutiny. Being such a huge cheese town, supply and demand for cheese grew over the years, but it wouldn't be until 1612 that the amount of cheese scales was increased from one to four. The tradition of weighing cheese is alive and well, along with other traditional touches such as uniforms, methods of testing and inspecting, cutting, carrying, and trading this edible gold, making the historic Alkmaar cheese market an exceptional destination to visit. On your visit, you'll see cheese porters, easily identifiable from their traditional white uniforms. You'll also see them carry the cheese using old-school wooden tools. What makes a visit to the cheese market memorable is how vibrant and lively the experience is, as samplers and cheese traders go to work inspecting and tasting cheese, and wheeling and dealing in cheese wheels. If you want to buy some cheese at the market, you can't buy cheese from traders directly. Instead, you can purchase your Gouda and Edam from stalls surrounding the edges of the market, as well as other local delicacies like a pickled herring or waffles. Grotte Kerk, also known as St. Lawrence Kirk, is a wonderful old building not to miss on your travels to the charming city of Alkmaar. This grand Gothic church was formerly a Protestant church, but is now a secular house of worship. It is also an imposing landmark that stands dominantly over the skyline of the old town centre. Churches have been built on this spot since the 10th century. The current structure, designed by Antonius Keldermans, was finished in 1498, after 28 years of construction. The church was dedicated to St. Lawrence, and famously contains the tomb of Floris V, Count of Holland. Grotte or St. Lawrence Kirk is known for its beauty inside and out. The church was built in the popular crucifix shape, with outer walls made from white Grobertange sandstone. The church's high windows allow tons of natural light to highlight the ornate Gothic decorations inside, especially the beautiful chandeliers and the two magnificent pipe organs. If you want to enjoy more of the beauty and history of Alkmaar, checking out the canal side district is among the best things to do in town. The intricate canal system of Alkmaar is fascinating, especially the outer canal that encircles the town. It's sort of like a wetter version of the Capital Beltway in the US or the M25 in the UK. The Canal Side District is a gateway to Europe, and a living repository of glorious Dutch art, architecture, and cultural treasures. It is about the best way to explore the city firsthand, and admire its old buildings. One of the best places to start your tour is from the Axensture Tax Tower, following the Werke Orde Ort Canal, passing the Grote or St. Lawrence Kirk. You can also walk along the Mint Canal, to all the historic cheese market stands, and through the Lukik Dorp Canal. A good place to end your canal side district tour is at the Victory Park, where you can unwind after the war. We at Via Travelers know travelling is 
kind of the best thing to do in life, not only because it broadens the mind, but it also broadens the palate. Chasing the wonderful sights and attractions in Alkmaar is all very well and good, but no trip is complete without tasting the delicacies the town has to offer. Alkmaar is considered one of the most important cheese cities on the planet, particularly for its historic cheese market. Sampling some of the town's cheese should be part of any travel itinerary in the Netherlands. The most popular cheeses found here are Gouda, or Gouda, and Edam, but there are many, many more to be enjoyed here. Aside from the cheeses, the town is also known for herring, and a wide variety of delicacies featuring this tasty fish can be found here. You may also treat your sweet tooth with some of Alkmaar's famous Trübwaffels for dessert. These mouth-watering sweet treats are made from two thin layers of baked dough waffle wafer joined by a sticky caramel filling. Tasting the delicacies of Alkmaar gives you a much better appreciation of this wonderful town and of Dutch culture at large. Nothing beats ending a long day's touristing than in a peaceful, picturesque park. And in Alkmaar, the medieval garden delivers such satisfaction. This scenic garden can be found in the Rijksmuseum van Oudheden, or National Museum of Antiquities. The medieval garden has a wealth of information about different plants and flowers grown throughout Europe during the Middle Ages and their countries of origin. The medieval garden is among the best places to end a day for its beauty not only shines during the day, but positively glows at night. Other outstanding parks in Alkmaar include Vejerbos, Fundel Park, Rekerhout, Alkmaar de Hout, the aforementioned Victory Park, and the breathtaking Hortus Alkmaar. Choosing any of these for a lazy stroll or place to unwind over a good book won't disappoint. If you want to take a detour and enjoy a day trip from Alkmaar, nip over to the Museum Quarter in Amsterdam. This beautiful corner of the nearby Dutch capital is rich in Dutch history and culture, making it among the most visited destinations in the Netherlands. It is a cultural melting pot, with a medley of outdoor and indoor activities as well as unique attractions. A day trip to this spectacular destination will have you gawping at the beauty of this unique city as you learn more about Dutch culture and history. Once little more than a swamp, the quarter evolved over centuries into a lively neighbourhood that now houses spectacular museums and galleries. Among the best museums to visit are the Stedelijk Museum of Modern Art, the Rijksmuseum, and of course, the Van Hoog Museum. Aside from being home to fascinating museums, the museum quarter is chock-a-block with fancy restaurants, parks and shopping centres. You can enjoy canal boat tours, Dutch delicacies from many superb restaurants throughout the quarter, and stay the night in one of several world-class hotels in the area. Alkmaar is among the most wonderful Dutch cities that first-time visitors are sure to fall in love with. From its unique sights, to its exquisite food, and of course, the ever-friendly locals, a visit to Alkmaar is filled with reward. Thanks for watching. To learn more about global events and places of interest, visit us at viatravelers.com and be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the shiny red button below the video. Farvel for now!